Hello and welcome back to Star's Galaxy of Heroes 5-5 Gray in the Arena. Second opponent for the first week on the way here is Daniel. Daniel hails from Clones Unleashed with just over a million legacy score. 12.8 million GP. They, I believe, did one battle so far for some banners. I don't know if there's anything else besides that one battle. Uh, let's see. Oh, they did, oh, did two-shot Leia. Okay, that's unfortunate. Um... So they've got Darts for Moff Gideon, the General Stap, General Stap, GG Stap team, Afra with the Trip Cron. I'm not sure which one, honestly. We can look real quick, though. Um, oh, it's the good one. Okay, that's annoying. Um, Qui-Gon. Uh, I know we've got GLs down here to worry about. Ray, Jabba. There's Gungans again. And then Queen Amidala. So... Yeah, lots of fun not to be had. Now, do I go with Grieve? Grieve this. Do I go General Skywalker here? Or do I do Bane? I was gonna do General Skywalker, honestly. Um. Okay, protection, disruption stuff, tech, max up, max protection. Ninety-six percent armor pins, not fun. Accuracy, third avoidance. Eh, could be worse, I guess. It could be like a paddle on Obi-Wan Kron, honestly. So, I mean, you know, we'll take what we are given. Alrighty. Let's see how things go, shall we? Okay. Yeah. Yep. yep. Uh, yeah. Da -da -da. I don't want tech to go before my Rex, so that way, yeah, that way I can get rid of all the debuffs with his cleanse, instead of, you know, cleansing and then immediately getting debuffs thrown on us, so. Alrighty, uh, where is, there's Echo, oh my, where did he go? Let's do that. I guess we'll just AOE real quick, get some days rolling. Nice. Um, who do we want to go for? Like, who do we want to go for, honestly? Apparently no one because yeah. See that's why I don't like this Queen I'm a dollar team. Oh. Excuse me, hello game. Why Oh, it's because of the protection up. That's why. I'm like, why are they getting protection disruption? Never mind. Forgot about the Datacron uh, shenanigans for a second. I'm like, why are they getting protection disruption? Um. I'm kind of hoping Juno's. There we go. Of course, now I need to turn with Rex before she summons in that stupid unit again. And he's cooldown increased. Of course he was. No more Padme. Now for the clone bros. What do we got with Sorties Datacron here? Buffs on basic support cron. Luckily, no defense being boosted. Uh, she has a chance of the start of her turn. She dispels all debuffs on himself. Okay. Interesting. Sorry, I like restarted the game because it was like the reason why I had like my headphones like smashed up against my ears for a second. Because I thought I heard like the audio being wonky a little bit. And then, you know, right at the end, it started going. Wah, 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 wah. And it was like really really annoying so I'm like nope it's gonna restart the whole thing 
well, not the Grand Arena round, obviously, kind of impossible to do that, but, um, yeah, okay, which one did we run the other day? I think it was this one, just because it had more of a spread of stats, you know? Alright, let's see how this goes, shall we? Because I honestly wouldn't be surprised if Daniel started attacking, now that I have started attacking. Because even with like one battle dropped, it doesn't mean that I won't drop battles myself, so, you know. Oh, he also doesn't have a Seer team then, because he's got Cal here. Interesting choices. Okay, we need to get rid of that taunt so we can start hitting other people. Now let's do this. Do we have... There we go. It's like I knew somewhere we had something that could help us get around that. There was Ben. Now for Ray. Good. Oh, we can't go for Cal because he's stealth. And now... Miss... What's her name is dodging like crazy, and we can't hit anyone because they're all either damage immune or stealth or just dodging because of the deflection stacks and all that crap. Alrighty then. Not going the way I was expecting it to, but you know, whatever. Shit happens. Okay, that. We gotta wait on Ray to get out of the, uh, whatever you want to call it, ultimate. Okay, um, let's do this again. Yeah, I knew Zori was gonna do that. Not Zori, L3, sorry. Why did I say Zori? That didn't make any sense. Come on, Star Killer. We need to turn with you, bro. Like any day now, bro. Uh, there we go. Okay. Huh? Did did we just get to do the ultimate twice? What? What in the hell was that? I am so confused right now. Did we ultimate... Not ultimate. Did we Star Destroyer twice? Or did I do the cleanse first and then do the Star Destroyer? I am so lost right now. Come on, Sorty, get out of damage me. I'll even stop throwing down the grenades with uh, Mara here if you can just uh, cooperate. Please. I mean, I'm still gonna kill Ben because. Okay. okay. Somebody dodge this. Okay, I'm gonna have to rewatch that later to see what in the hell I did because I didn't think I hit. I thought I hit the Star Destroyer ability. Uh, I guess I didn't. I don't know. Um. Anyways, uh, Jabba, who TM game on based off of the specials. Seventy-six percent, not seventy-six, seventy-four percent defense. Uh. Double tap attacker thing. Or attacker thing. Attacker roll. Um, 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 um. The reason why I'm taking Stormtroopers is because that way if I need brew with um, Seer later, I'll have him available as a tank kind of thing, you know? Alright.
That was a nice waste of a bomb throw there. Or explosion. More like, because, you know, there was only bombs on, what, SLKR, and that's about it. See, now would be a good time to use it, because you've got bombs spread all over the damn place. But no, you decide to waste your capabilities way early on, like you normally do. Well, there's a good thought there, Roger, but uh, the problem is, is, well, yeah, he can't be killed with the Datacron right now, especially while Kylo is alive, so, good effort, good effort. I mean, yeah, these are going to be bloody banners, but, like, also the Relic 9 Crusade Sim with no Omni on him. What an odd choice. I honestly thought Jabba was going to get a turn before I could kill him and revive for Samson to make that battle go a little longer. Alright, now for the Gungans that are all Relicate with the Jar Jar Kron, uh, 186% armor pin. Oh, okay then, that is not cool. We're going to try Reva first, as opposed to anything else, because... Yeah, Gungans. Gungans, 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 bro. Um... I don't know. And the good thing is, once all those stacks go away, they won't get it revived because it's not the boss in Ascron. Oh, thank you, Jar Jar, for death marking yourself there, Buckaroo. But here comes the lag. Oh, my lord. Okay. That's good, though. Um. Alright, uh, let's just get rid of Jar Jar if we can. Okay, we did not. That's fine. That does, though. No more phalanx. No more boss and ass. Oh, my lord. They are wrecking. Wrecking. Eighth and fifth row. Okay. He'll back up, and there we go. Awesome. Okay, buffs on basic. 61% defense is not going to be fun. The tank stuff is the reason why they have three tanks with uh, the uh, Benzor team here. I'm like, what team am I looking at again? Sorry. Uh, let's see. You had... Da -da -da. I really wish I had a trip that. Do I have a trip data crown yet on this one? I don't remember, honestly. I don't think I do, which kind of annoys me. Maybe I could pilfer one of the other support crons into being one. Because if I'm not going to go and push, or if I'm not going to push cup up to so Relic 5 just to use the data crown, there's no point in having a cup data crown, honestly. So, I don't know. I'll have to decide that after I get done doing this Grand Arena. Um, let's do this. Good grief. Just good grief. Nuked the hell out of them. Okay, um. Hmm. Do we trade this? I mean, maybe. We'll see the data comes first. Okay, so it is the big nest roll. Uh, defense being boosted, protection, crit damage, health, the attacker cron. I mean, 
I feel like Trey could pull, pull this off just because of the fact that it... I mean, maybe, maybe not just because of how much damage Dash can do, though. So it's like... I'm a little, a little hesitant on it, you know? We'll take in some crit avoidance, so just in the off chance he just decided to start nuking the Sith here. But, uh, we'll see. We will see. Because my plan is, we're gonna isolate IG, and then we'll nuke out Vandor. Of course, we have to get a turn with Trey to isolate in the first place, but... You know, every time Mr. Savage here gets hit, he's getting, you know, TM boosted to him, so... Okay. There we go. One part of this issue is down. Hey, look at that. Vandor's about to die. Adios. I do appreciate Nest constantly like, hurt, like going after people and hurting herself with those attacks. With the counterattacks and all that, you know? It's not really helping anyone but me, but I do appreciate the effort. It's the thought that counts. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. No more Quill. No more IG. Now the issue is, is will Nihilus be able to kill her? I don't know. Because her and Savage are in a... Savage, dude. Why is he basically gaining 100% TM every time he's getting hit? I thought it was 10%. Not 100%. And, and look at this, watch. He's gonna, like, magically jump back up to the front of the line. Because of those counter attacks. Oh, never mind. Okay. I was about to say, he was gonna jump to the front of the line in front of Nihilus, even though Nihilus had max TM there. And I was gonna be very, very, very annoyed. What else trip here? Buffs on base, or well, speed up on basic, support roll, the really good trip roll, uh, health, special damage, physical damage, crit damage, protection being boosted. There's like a couple routes I could take. I can, well, I can't do, actually, I can't do dash because I don't have dash on defense. So I guess it will be CLS instead. Like right as those words are coming out, out of my mouth, I'm like, wait a second, I put dash on defense. Sorry, my dad was talking to me about lunch real quick. Um, 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 um. Hmm. We'll take this one, why not? A little bit of armor pin to maybe shred uh, Afra down before she starts really, well, going. Okay, let's go ahead and go for that. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, okay. I was getting a little worried there because once Trip starts, not Trip, once BT starts doing BT things, you really gotta start worrying a little bit. Because BT is pretty damn good, and yeah, that, I was worried, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, um, okay, uh, let's see... Max health, max protection, protection disruption stuff, some armor pin and accuracy. I wonder how fast his Anakin is. I didn't check that yet. 291, so not fast enough because Doya's tech is like ridiculously fast. Tech? It's Echo that matters. Jeez, you moron. No, his Echo is like ridiculously fast. So even with the bonus speed from Kiati Mundi. And, uh, you know, Qui-Gon Jinn. Alright, um... Actually, his tech is fast as well. I forgot about that. Okay, so back that way. Let's do this. Nice. 
I still don't have the Zetas on Omega. <laughs> One day she will, but like until the character releases really start like simmering down a little bit, I won't be doing that. Alright. So General Grievous. They've got the 15% TM on specials. The uh, double attack with the attacker cron health special damage. I don't know why I said the seals like that. I guess my freaking tongue just like started to do whatever. Um, anyways. Um. Yeah, let's see what Bane can do, huh? I mean, I, I believe in him. But at the same time. Kind of shaky on it. Alrighty then. One hundred twenty-four thousand damage to three with this base wasn't enough to kill him. That's pretty funny though. <laughs> that, that is pretty funny. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Now B1 could just stop regenerating stacks. There we go. Well, that was nifty. All right. Um. Let's see. Um, Dark Trooper Moff Gideon, TM on specials, special damage, physical damage being boosted, and then it's a support cron, obviously. Um, but I feel like we did this a while back. I could be wrong, though. Um, but, you know, why not? Let's, let's give a, a, a an attempt. Still haven't made up my mind what I'm going to do against the Kellerin team in the back zone, but, you know, we'll get there whenever we get there kind of thing. Well, thank you for doing that. That saves me the time of having to, you know, actually attack something. Not attack, but like, mark you down is what I meant. Now let's do this. hit auto because well I mean yeah we still gotta get the storm trooper but I think we'll be okay okay that was Gideon, he's being a bit of a nuisance, really. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, even with the fact that we're doing use damage, we're still doing pretty well, honestly, on damage out. No. There we go. Alright. No. I do wonder if he will attack again. Because, I mean, he dropped... With the battle dropped on Leia, that kind of makes things really difficult to come back from. Especially since I haven't dropped anything yet. So, um, let's see. TM reduction, of course. Accuracy, offense. Chunk of offense at that. Um. But, yeah. Uh... 
I mean, he could still he could still do a number to my defense if he wanted to. So I'm not saying he couldn't. It's just would it be plausible for him to put up a good score? I mean, yeah, but I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try to speculate. All right. Um, who do we want to go for first? But again, I really don't know why he did a Jedi split like this. Seems kind of counterintuitive to split up your Jedi this much. I mean, yeah, it gives you more options on offense for teams, but like, if you're only going to do one battle, then what's the point of doing that kind of thing, you know? I don't know. I'm just spitballing at this point. Alright, let's do this. Okay, well there goes his first life. You know, now we gotta get through the next hour many turns of him getting foresight up every time I went to attack. Oh, okay, well Fulcrum will just nuke him. Alrighty then. And the fact that we'll see a lot of Relic 9 Fulcrums. Not I don't know if soon is the right word, but in the future, you know, because of the new GL Ahsoka. It'll be interesting to see what all she brings to the table at Relic 9. I know, like, people already have a Relic 9 anyways, just because of Territory War and other stuff like that, but, like, I don't. Okay. We gotta be careful because with the Thai, uh, whatever that's called, I can't remember. Wow. I wanna call it the Defender, but it's not. I wanna call it the Dorito, but that's just name. But, uh, anyways, yeah, with the Sith Fighter, it's a trooper out. It's not a Sith Fighter. Why can I not remember the name of that ship? Holy crap. Thai Dagger. Wow. Don't know how I couldn't remember that. Anyways, but with their tie dagger out, uh, it's gonna make things a little more difficult just because of backflipping cleanse. So, however, they made the grave error of destroying my hangers instead of calling in a reinforcement. So now they don't have their tie dagger. Who are they calling in? Well, there goes their sass. Well, we can bring in our, uh... Okay, I know I used the second ability, but whatever. Forever and have to kill this bomber. Or not. There we go. Okay, now for a high relic. Uh executive fleet to deal with. I'm so excited. Not really. Something stuck in my teeth, sorry. Mm. Okay. Worry about it later. Um Here we go. Mm. No assist, that's not good. No assist well an assist, but not enough assist to put days on the razor crest because now we're definitely losing the wide Yep. 
fucking dumbass queen. I really, really, really hate this fleet, this rebel fleet. I say it every single time, but I despise them so much. They're so fucking garbage at doing their job, you know? Got ultimate. Of course, we need to turn to, you know, get to it before they do. There we go. And goodbye, Executor. And the weird thing is, like, like with the emulator I run on here, it doesn't do the weird audio glitch like it does on the PC client. You can still do everything normally, right? It doesn't make sense. How they managed to fuck it up on the client, but whatever. Mm, wish my little stop chain. Crying Sheen. Do we get a turn with the Scythe, though? We do. Good. How many stacks do we get? Okay, we got a healthy amount of stacks. 19. I will definitely take that. And there we go. How well did we do overall? 1826. Yeah, I don't think with that drop on Leia, he's going to be able to do much of anything else. So, we'll call that a win. But if he does end up doing something, I'll change it. But, anyways, if y'all enjoyed, don't forget to hit like and hit subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. I hope you have a good rest of your day.